Be prepared right from the very start and throughout for flashing images, offensive language and adult themes. So, we're going to have a nice little chat, Gary. Right. Right. So, tell me, why did you accept the offer to come into the house? Um, it does bother me about what public perception of me is. The black sheep of the royal family. But I'm a normal bloke. It just so happens my niece married well. Yeah. And I just thought, when this opportunity came, if I could show people that I'm not that person, and I've really put myself out there because this isn't my world. Mm. And ultimately, I'm not a celebrity. I don't want to be you know, a celebrity. I don't want to go down that path. I just want to... Why don't I believe you when you say that? I don't. Honestly, 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 I don't crave all that. I think you're insecure. I'm insecure in this situation. Yeah. Because... You're out your comfort zone. It's and it's massively for me. My daughter said, be the best version of you and they love you. And that, the first thing we're in, we're in 10 minutes, and my name pops up, it's like, oh, Jesus, what have you done, Jim? What have you done? Um, this is my little moment. It's what, what a load of fun. And again, what I like to do is just change perception. Yeah. How old are you? 30, flirty and thriving. So, when I first met you yeah. and I saw you with no trousers on. I was quite shocked. Was ya? Yeah. And then when I realised it's your thing... Yeah. Yeah, and you feel better that way... Yeah. And I understood it, mm -hmm. but I was quite shocked when I saw you with no trousers on. Yeah. Not that I'm a prude, cos I am not. No. We shouldn't prejudge, but everyone does prejudge. Of course you do. It's, listen, it's human it's nature. It's human nature. The first time you look at somebody, you prejudge them. 100%, yep. of course you do. But then when you get to know somebody... Yeah, of course. ..and yeah. you see a bit of depth... Yeah. ..it's nice. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, OK, yeah, that's because they are genuinely like an out-there person. And yeah. That's what they're like. That's their little thing. What did you feel like when you found out you were in the Ring of Fire? I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all because I've had this quite a lot in my life where on first impressions people are a bit like, whoa, he's just dying for attention. When that's just not the case. That's just who I am as a person. Yes, you are what you which, are. Which you've obviously seen. I do enjoy kind of like proving people wrong. I just noticed that massive berber. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice in here. It's isn't so it? nice. Yeah. It's very I feel comfortable. like this is what your house would be like. It's funny you should say that, but it is. Yeah, this suits you to a T. Thank you. You look great in here. Thank you. And I'm dressed as <laughs> ass. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is... It's nice, isn't it? It seems very, um, it's like rock and roll. Yes. All right, so, Zizi, I want to get to know you better. What do you want to know about me? Everything. OK, so, I've been raised by my mum, she's a single mother, but I, I was raised with her and my gran in the household, so it was kind of like my gran was like my second mum as well. Okay. My mum always says that I wanted to be an actress from when I was, like, four. And then I kind of um, fell out of love with acting. Then an incident happened with me and a couple of my friends where we didn't get let into a nightclub because one of us was too dark and two, the one was too fat. And get it, out of like, here. Yeah, and it went viral. In that